Hello, my name is Jonathan Falco and I'm an engineer at Keysight Technologies. In this demo, I will show you how the new N1060A Precision Waveform Analyzer is able to handle closed-eyed PAM4 signals. Here is our receiver, an N1060A Precision Waveform Analyzer, also known as the Mega Module, inside of an N1000A DCAX mainframe. The source we will use is an M8045A 64 gigabaud pattern generator with an M8057A pattern generator remote head. It will generate a PAM4 PRBS 13Q signal at 26.5625 gigabaud with no transmit emphasis. The signal will propagate through 34 inches of SMA cable, 11.1 inches of FR4, and again through 36 inches of SMA cable into the N1060A. The PC board and SMA cables introduce 22.43 dB of loss at the Nyquist frequency of 13.28 GHz. This channel completely closes the PAM4 signal at the input to the oscilloscope. Starting from a default setup, we see the unlocked channels. Set the input symbol rate to 26.5625 gigabaud. Please note, the clock recovery loop bandwidth is configured for 4 MHz with 0 dB peaking. Attempting to lock on the signal after passing through the lossy channel fails. But, if we increase the gain of the internal hardware equalizers and attempt to lock again, this time, it is successful. These variable equalizers on the clock path open the signal sufficiently to allow the clock recovery to lock. The data signal is undisturbed and can be equalized using built-in CTLE, LFE, and DFE functions. By turning on the precision time base, the intrinsic random jitter can be reduced to less than 50 femtoseconds RMS. Since the signal is severely degraded, we will manually set the symbol rate to 26.5625 gigabaud and attempt a pattern lock. We will turn on the differential signal and set up the receiver for a 33 gigahertz Bessel response. To remove the skew between the two channels, we will use a new feature, Auto Differential D-Skew 1A and 1B. This eliminates the need for external phase shifters. Then we will turn off the single-ended channels. To start analysis, we will turn on a CTLE and configure the input for a differential PAM4 signal by selecting the 5.5 dB setting. The signal eye is starting to open, but since the loss of this channel still exceeds the standard, we will cascade a linear feedforward equalizer. For this configuration, setting the number of taps of the equalizer to 5 and precursors to 2, we are able to open the signal eye wide. Due to this signal being severely degraded, we will force jitter mode to use PAM4 signal type. The Flex DCA's jitter mode gives you the most accurate and in-depth PAM4 analysis. To enter jitter mode, select it on the drop-down on the top left. Within 5 seconds of selecting jitter mode, 
The N1060A has its first results for the 8,191 symbol long PRBS 13Q signal. The improvement in jitter measurement time is thanks to a few key upgrades. A six times faster sample rate, a new counter system design that generates pattern triggers up to 16 times faster than the 8600D, and targeted sampling in key amplitude and jitter regions. With this powerful new hardware, we've been able to do a full jitter breakdown of a degraded PAM4 signal on the N1060A Precision Waveform Analyzer. The capability to measure closed-eye PAM4 signals quickly and accurately is invaluable for characterizing the next generation of PAM4 designs. To find out more about the N1060A Precision Waveform Analyzer, go online to www.nlc.com keysight.com forward slash find forward slash n1060a thank you for watching